Hi, welcome to DND's Edu Corner. Let's talk about solving quadratic equations. Mayroon tayong iba't ibang paraan ng pag-solve ng quadratic equations. But in this tutorial, mag-focus tayo in solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Let's start sa pag-simplify ng square roots. Tandaan na sa pag-simplify ng square root, kailangan walang maiwang perfect square sa loob ng ating square root sign. Let's have our first example. We have here square root of x squared. So what is the square root of x squared? The answer is x. The square root of x squared is x. Next, we have negative square root of 81. We have a negative sign here. So our answer is negative 9. So the negative sign and the square root of 81 is 9. Next given, square root of 50. 50 is not a perfect square. So, ang gagawin natin dito is maghanap ng factors ng 50 kung saan yung isang factor ay perfect square. So, ano ba yung dalawang numbers na yon na ating gagamitin? We have 25 and 2. 25 times 2, that is 50. Okay, so since we have here square root of 50, let's have square root of 25 times square root of 2. Pwede na natin kuhanin ngayon ang square root ni 25, which is 5. And then, kopyahin lang natin si square root of 2. Ito na yung ating simplest form ng square root of 50. Punta naman tayo sa ating given na square root of quantity x minus 7 squared. So, our answer here is x minus 7. So, naiwan lang yung ating binomial na x minus 7 sa ating sagot. Okay? Next is, and this is our last example for this drill, we have the square root of 9 49ths or 9 over 49. This is the same with the square root of 9 over the square root of 49. So, ang process na gagawin natin dito ay kuhanin ang square root ni 9 at kuhanin ang square root ni 49. Ang magiging sagot natin is 3 sevenths. The square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 49 is 7. After nating ma-practice ang pag-simplify ng square roots, alamin naman natin ang concept ng square root property. Ito yung property na gagamitin natin sa pag-solve ng ating quadratic equation. Ang nakalagay dito is for any real number k, ito yon sa ating quadratic equation na x squared is equal to k, then x is equal to positive negative square root of k. Kukuhanin natin yung square root ng both sides and magkakaroon tayo ng positive negative sign sa ating solutions or roots. Mayroon din tayong mga conditions na consider Sa ating quadratic equation, kung ang k is greater than 0, ibig sabihin kung ang k natin ay positive, mayroon tayong dalawang real solutions. Kung ang k naman ay equal to 0, we have one real solution. And kung ang k is less than 0, or kung si k ay negative, we have no real solution. Gagamitin natin ang concept na ito sa pag-solve ng ating mga quadratic equations. I just have an important reminder bago tayo mag-start sa pag-solve. Make sure natin ang ating quadratic equation ay nasa form na x squared equals k. Naka-isolate muna yung ating quadratic term, okay, doon sa k natin or doon sa real number natin bago tayo mag-apply ng square root property. I have here the steps in solving our quadratic equation okay, using our square root property. And let's have our first example. x squared is equal to 100. Ang ating example ay nasa form na ng x squared is equal to k. So, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating square root property sa ating given. Applying the square root property, Get the square root of both sides. So, the square root of x squared is equal to, don't forget, 
kailangan nating lagyan ng positive, negative kapag nag apply tayo ng square root property. So, we have positive, negative, square root of 100. So, the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 100 is 10. So, ang magiging sagot natin is x is equal to positive, negative 10. Ito yun. Dalawa ang ating solutions. Since si 100 or yung k natin is greater than 0. Yun yung concept kanina na ating e-discuss. Now, let's check kung tama yung solutions or yung roots na nakuha natin. Okay, papaano natin i-check? Gamitin natin yung ating original quadratic equation, which is x squared is equal to 100. We're going to use substitution. Unahin natin itong positive 10. Magsasatisfy kaya siya sa ating equation? Tignan natin. So, yung x, palitan natin ng 10. We have 10 squared is equal to 100. 10 squared is 100. So, we have 100 is equal to 100. It satisfied our equation. How about negative 10? Gamitin ulit natin yung original equation and then substitution. Quantity negative 10 squared is equal to 100. So, negative 10 times negative 10, that is still 100. So, 100 is equal to 100. Meaning, tama yung solutions na nakuha natin. Dito naman tayo sa example natin na x squared minus 121 is equal to 0. Ang given natin na ito ay wala sa form na x squared is equal to k. Kailangan muna natin itong ayusin. Gagamit tayo ng ating addition property of equality para ma-eliminate natin itong negative 121 sa side ng quadratic term. So, add tayo both sides ng 121 and then ito ay magiging 0 may iiwan si x squared. And magkakaroon tayo ng 121 dito sa kabilang side of our equation. So, ito na tayo sa x squared is equal to 121 or sa form na x squared equals k. Ang k natin dito is a positive number. So, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang real solutions. Gamitin na natin yung ating square root property. Get the square root of both sides. Square root of x squared is equal to, don't forget, ilagay yung positive negative sign. And then, square root of 121. Ang magiging sagot natin ay, x is equal to positive negative 11. May dalawa tayong sagot. Positive 11 and negative 11. Ngayon naman, i-check natin kung magsasatisfy ba yung nakuha nating sagot sa ating original equation. We have here x squared minus 121 is equal to 0. This is our original equation. Substitute natin muna yung positive 11 dito sa ating variable na x. So, we have 11 squared minus 121 is equal to 0. Tignan natin kung magiging 0 din yung kabilang side. So, 11 squared that is 121. Minus 121 is equal to 0. 121 minus 121, that is 0. So, tama. Nag-satisfy sa ating given equation. Next is yung negative 11. I-check din natin. So, substitution, quantity negative 11 squared minus 121, it will become negative 11 times negative 11. Magkakaroon din tayo ng 121. So, 121 minus 121 is equal to 0. So, tama pareho ang ating nakuhang solutions. Ang ating third given naman ay quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to 9. So, this is a square of binomial. And nasa form na siya ng x squared is equal to k. Our k here, again, is a positive number. So, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang real solutions. Let's apply the square root property. Get the square root of both sides and then don't forget the positive, negative dito sa ating k. So, the square root of quantity x minus 3 squared is x minus 3. And then, we have the positive, negative. The square root of 9 is 3. Ayusin natin yung ating equation. 
para makuha natin yung ating solutions or yung X. Gagamit tayo ngayon ng addition property of equality para ma-eliminate natin si negative 3 dito sa kabilang side of the equation. Add both sides by 3. So, this will become negative 3 plus 3, that is 0, may iwan ay x. And then, positive negative 3 plus 3. So, ayusin natin ito. Meron tayong positive 3 and negative 3. Isa-isahin natin. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x is equal to positive muna, positive 3 plus 3. And then, yung kabila naman, x is equal to, yung negative naman ito, negative 3 plus 3. So, dalawa ang ating magiging solutions. We have x is equal to 6 because 3 plus 3, that is 6. And then, x is equal to 0 because negative 3 plus 3, that is 0. Now, let's check our answers using the original equation. So we have quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to 9. Substitution, unahin natin yung 6. So magkakaroon tayo ng quantity 6 minus 3 squared is equal to 9. And then sa loob ng parentheses, we have 6 minus 3. Magkakaroon tayo ng 3 squared is equal to 9. 3 squared is equal to 9. Kaya tama yung ating solution. Next naman is yung ating 0. Palitan natin yung x ng 0. So, we have 0 minus 3. Okay, quantity 0 minus 3 squared is equal to 9. So, 0 minus 3, that is negative 3. And negative 3 times negative 3, that is still 9. So, 9 is equal to 9. We have the correct solutions. Okay, dito na tayo sa ating example number 4. Ang given natin dito is x squared plus 4 is equal to 4. Ayusin muna natin ito into x squared is equal to k. Gagamit tayo ng addition property of equality. So, we have here positive 4. Mag-add tayo both sides ng negative 4. Positive 4 minus 4, it will become 0. May iwan natin is x squared is equal to 0. Kasi we have 4 minus 4, that is 0. So, ang k natin dito is 0. Ano ba yung nakalagay sa ating uh, conditions kanina? If k is 0, we have one real solution. Oh, let's check. Let's use the square root property. Okay, get the square root of x squared and the square root of 0. We have here the positive negative. The square root of x squared is x and the square root of 0 is 0. Hindi na natin kinalang ilagay si positive negative sign kasi 0 naman yung ating sagot. Okay, so we have here one real solution because 0 is a real number. Okay, let's check our answer. We have x squared plus 4 is equal to 4. Substitute natin yung 0 dito sa x natin. Magkakaroon tayo ng 0 squared plus 4. Is it equal to 4? Okay, 0 squared that is 0. So, 4 is equal to 4. Our fifth example is 4x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Obviously, ang ating given ay wala pa sa x squared is equal to k. Ayusin muna natin ito. Una is eliminate natin si negative 1 sa side na ito ng ating equation. May iwan lang muna si 4x squared. So, add tayo both sides ng positive 1 using the addition property of equality. So, this will become negative 1 plus 1. May iwan si 4x squared. And then, 0 plus 1, that is 1. Okay, next natin gagawin is gawin 1 yung numerical coefficient ni x squared. Anong gagamitin natin? We have to use division property of equality. So, divide tayo both sides by 4. Okay? And 4x squared divided by 4, it will give us x squared. And then, 1 divided by 4, that is 1 fourth. So, kung mapapansin natin dito, yung k natin na 1 fourth, that is still greater than 0. So, mag-expect pa rin tayo ng dalawang real solutions. Gamitan na natin yung square root property. So, get the square root of both sides. We have the square root of x squared is equal to the positive negative sign kasi gumamit tayo ng square root property. Okay, positive negative square root of 1 fourth. Yung 1 fourth, yung square root ng 1 fourth, same lang din siya as the square root of 1 over the square root of 4. 
So, ang square root ng x squared is x. And, ano bang square root ni 1? Okay, the square root of 1 is 1. And, the square root of 4 is 2. Kaya, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na x. Okay, from here, x is equal to positive, negative, kung yung square root of 1 4, which is 1 half. So, dalawang ating solutions. We have positive 1 half and negative 1 half. Okay? Positive 1 half or negative 1 half. Okay, so i-check naman natin yung ating naging solutions kung magsasatisfy sa ating given equation. Unahin natin yung 1 half, okay? Ipalit natin dito sa variable na x. So, ang gagawin natin is, is square muna natin sa 1 half. So, 1 half times 1 half, it will give us 1 fourth. Okay, so 4 times 1 fourth minus 1, is it equal to 0? Uh, kailangan mag-equal to 0 yung ating kabilang side ng equation. So, 4 times 1, that is 4, divided by 4, magkakaroon tayo ng 1. And then, 1 minus 1, that is 0. So, tama yung 1 half. Next natin is yung negative 1 half. So, ipalit natin si negative 1 half, square muna natin yan. Negative 1 half times negative 1 half, it will give us positive 1 fourth. Okay, so parang kagayo lang kanina, 4 times 1 fourth, it will give us 1 minus 1, that is equal to Zero. So, we have zero is equal to zero. Let's proceed with our last example. Example six. Ang ating given is 3x squared is equal to negative 9. So, kailangan muna natin siyang gawing x squared is equal to k. Ang gagamitin natin is a division property of equality. Let's divide both sides by 3. So, 3x squared divided by 3 and then negative 9 divided by 3. So, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na x squared because 3x squared divided by 3, that is x squared and a negative 9 divided by 3, we have negative 3. Kung mapapansin natin, ang ating k dito is less than 0 or k is negative. Ano bang nakalagay sa condition? When k is negative, then we have no real solution. Kung gagamitan natin ng square root property, this will give us an imaginary number. Kasi meron tayong negative sa loob ng square root sign. So, ang ating sagot dito ay no real solution. And that's it for our examples and solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Till our next tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.